Let's think about this. Two games over 24 hours. Last night in Charlotte, Kevin Durant late with a chance to tie the game. Misses that pull-up jumper. Karis Savert with a chance to win the game at the buzzer regulation. Misses a step back three. Joe Harris with a chance to give them the lead late. He misses a three-pointer. So in those key shots right now, the Nets are open three uh, in two close games. Now, you don't want to look at moral victories, but despite this loss here at home to the Grizzlies tonight, Frank, you saw the Nets reserves really play well, including a couple guys that we talked about. Well, we talked about TLC in the pregame show. Chris Chioza really yeah. showed out tonight, too. Yeah, especially for a guy who hadn't played yet. And I like the fact that Steve Nash went with both Chioza and Karis LeVert together in that fourth quarter. It gives you two ball handlers. Here would be my concern, though. So you didn't have Kevin Durant. You didn't have Kyrie Irving. Spencer Dinwiddie obviously likely gone for the right. rest of the season. John Morant was going to be trouble for you, but John Morant doesn't even play in the game. The problem was Kyle Anderson. It was Dylan Brooks. It was Brandon Clark on the boards. Jonas Valanciunas. You know, Kyle Anderson, who's a New Jersey kid, when he broke in in the NBA with the San Antonio Spurs, they used to call him Slow Mo. That was Tim Duncan's nickname for uh, him. Because he does kind of everything it's a perfect deliberately nickname, yeah. and slow, but... He's a pretty tough player. He, this was a career night for him.